Christmas, Florida. There is supposed to be a wildlife management area over there, which is like BLM land. Here's the town of Christmas. Here's the Christmas post office. Christmas Museum and Park. Orlando Wetlands Park. Welcome to Christmas in Orange County Community. Tosohatchee WMA 3 miles. Let me turn here. I think I've been here before, but I was told this is a different one. area this is. I don't remember coming this way, so this might be the new area. Some of this land reminds me of uh, East Texas, near Tyler. Not as hilly, but just as green and lush, and homes with a lot of land. Very nice. day it was 74 at about 7 a.m. and I can feel the heat coming into the cab right now my left arm is starting to burn I love these cute little cottages back in a residential area. There's the sign. Nope, that's not it. Maybe that's it? It says to turn left. Yep, that's it. Uh, I gotta back up a little bit. I'm not turning around here. Okay, this is the Tosohatchee Wildlife Management Area. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Area opens at 8 a.m. and closes at sunset. It's got this nice gate and it's a gravel road. It says all terrain vehicles prohibited. Welcome, please sign, register, and pay entrance fee before entering the area. Okay, this is right at the very entrance. Wildlife alert. Look, there's a big security camera right up there. Do you guys see that? Video monitoring equipment is in use. Wildlife alert. Report suspected resource violations. And there's a phone number, and then there's a registration area right here, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to get out and do that right now. So here's the registration sheet. What time is it? 
Okay, here is the you have to take a sheet and there's an envelope here. You can put the this on your dash and it's got a registration number. And then there are some brochures over here. Talks about what's here, alligators, and then here's a map of the area. I'm probably just going to go in and drive around. I'm meeting some friends later. And there's a bathroom right here. And right across from the entrance looks like there's the official office. And then right behind me, it said employee parking when I walked in here. It's nice and quiet here. I love this. Let me read this. I like to read the signs. It says, prevent Lyme disease. Wear repellent. Check for ticks daily. Shower soon after being outdoors. Call your doctor if you get a fever or a rash. Okay, good to know. Do you guys see these, this tree with these branches? See right here? These are called air plants. I have some. Let's see if you can see them better. They grow in the trees and they just, they can easily grow anywhere, but they're, they're so neat. They, you see a lot of them in the Florida Keys. And I have a friend that he gives them to his mom every year. She's from Massachusetts and uh, she loves those. She keeps them up there inside the house and they grow out there well. All right, let's go explore this area real quick. I was going to roll my windows down, but because of that sign that said to be careful with the insects I'm not uh, they tend to sneak in and insects love me and I don't want to have to deal with any insect problem later so I'm just gonna do a drive-through and decide what I'm gonna do no vehicles allowed on roads after dark all right let's go and check this out The road is gravel, but it's very bumpy. Ooh, look, 20 mile per hour speed limit and alligators, so no swimming in here. For the first time I owned the wildlife management areas, when I was traveling with a friend, we went to one, and if you watch my very first video on my channel, that is the first wildlife management area that I ever went to. So excited! We are on our way to the wildlife management land that we found. Oh, check this out. Woo! We found it! Boondocking, baby! Wildlife management areas are like BLM land out west. Some of them you can camp in and they're free, but you do have to register like you saw a few minutes ago, just a little bit ago when I just showed you the registration process. The one we went to the very first time had a camp host who actually greeted us and we stayed there a couple of nights and there was nobody at the time, but there were some it looked like there were some permanent 
not permanent, but RVs and other recreational vehicles. So people, I guess, get permits and could stay for extended periods of time. I don't remember exactly how it was, but I'll find out more. And if I decide to do more wildlife management boondocking, I'll give you guys all the information and directions and everything you need in case you ever want to come to one of these. So if you can see to my right, there's all this swampy area. And to the left, it's just marshland and wild land. Some bird feeders out there and wood picker feeders. Speed limit's 20 miles per hour. I'm going about 15. This road is very, very nice. All the trails seem to be marked. I'm going to see if there's, uh, I'm assuming there's a place I can go further up to park the vehicle because there was a vehicle pulling out, coming out of here when I got here. Looks like there are some government workers up there. That doesn't look like an RV. That looks like a service truck. Oh yeah, this loops around. I wonder if I could go straight. Oh, the St. John River is straight ahead. I wonder which way I should go. It doesn't look like there's much to the right. There's the way to the left. Mm, I'm gonna go to the St. John's River, which is to the right. Is that right? Is that what that sign says? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna turn right here and go to the St. John's River. It's a long way away. <laughs> do I want to go all the way over there? I'm not sure I want to do that right now. <sighs> no horses on this road. Hmm. All right. I am going to come back. I didn't think this was this far. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the maps that I have with me and I'm going to I have some appointments later today so I don't want to start exploring I thought this was I thought some of the areas that I could park and explore were much closer so I'm going to turn around check out some of the maps I have and then come back in the next couple of days because I have too many appointments today and tomorrow and then I have a conference, a video creator conference in a couple of days. I'm going to Playlist Live. So let me go back and I will keep you guys posted on what that looks like. 